Hello students, today we are going to discuss about development of lateral surfaces of a solids. So in that I have taken example as problem 2. Uh, in this we have a square prism whose side length is 30 mm, axis length is 60 mm, is resting on HP on its base with all the vertical faces being equally inclined to VP. It is cut by an inclined plane 60 degree to HP and perpendicular to VP and is passing through a point on the axis at a distance of 45 mm from base. So from base it is 45 mm and from the top face it is 15 mm. Draw the development of the lower portion of the prism. So this is the problem. So let's begin. We have to draw a square. Before that I have to go for the orthographic. So for the orthographic I am going to use a thin line. So here continuous line, thin line. Draw a line. So this has to be represented by x and y. So here it is x and here this side is y. And uh, since it is first quadrant, here we are supposed to represent VP and here we are supposed to represent HP. And we have a square. Square, be, square can be constructed using a rectangle tool where directly you can just apply the value of uh, side length and directly you will get the uh, a square or rectangle. So in this case, the side length is given as 30. So I'm going to type 30, press enter, width is also 30 since it is a square. And here directly I'll type 45. So I'll get a square. So I can directly keep my square, something like this. So this is uh, this has come with a thin line. Yes, anyways, uh, I can make it into thick line. Just select this, make it into thick line, thickness 0.5. Now uh, let us project this before that I can name this. So here I'm going to name only the uh, bottom base uh, since the top face is going to be uh, uh, removed. C and here it's going to be D. Let us show the side length of this using the smart dimension. I'll show the side length which is 30. Then I'm going to project this for the front view. So use thin line. So I'm going to use a thin line, project it till the XY line. Again, obviously, if it is at an equal incline, so it's supposed to be till here, then I can project it. See, if it is not coming, project it furthermore. Later, we can just delete this. Okay, go to trim. Trim of this extra lines. Don't keep that. So this is just a projection line. Now I'm going to project it. Now in this case, I'm going to take a thick line. So from here, till here, till here. And here the height is given. The height is 60. So type 60 and it is vertical line 90. Okay, so same way here at the it is 60 and it is a vertical line 90. So once again in the middle also I will be having a thick line. So select this the height supposed to be 60. Now join from this end point to this end point and till this end point. So you can make it into thin line or later on you can make it into thick line. So I will do that. So select this. Uh, make all of this into thin line okay now let us show the axis height of this select this the height is supposed to be 60 and here let us show the angle of this so select this select this the angle is 45 degree okay so now uh, let us go for the naming since uh, i can name this at the top face here it is a dash and uh, here it would be b dash inside bracket uh, D dash and at last here I'll be having C dash. Okay, so now we'll look into the cutting plane. Cutting plane is at a distance of 45 from the base. So I'll just draw a thin horizontal line. So it's supposed to be thin. Select this, convert into thin line. Go to line, uh, uh, go to distance between. Select from here, select this, select this. Here I'm going to give the distance. So they say it is 45. So I'm going to convert that into 45. This is 45. The upper one is supposed to be 15. Obviously it will be. Now go to line. Now at this intersection, you have to select and you have to draw a line at an angle of 60 degree. So this angle is supposed to be 60 degree. So I'll keep it only till here. Again, I can extend it with a parallel line as you can see it here can extend it till here and cutting plane supposed to be here I can make it into chain thin select this cutting plane supposed to be chain thin now the bottom portion should be visible so make it into thick line the upper portion will not be visible so make it into uh, a thin line okay now I'll, I'm going to project this use a thin line so project it 
from year to year so from year to year and from year to year okay now i'm going to split this and i'm going to convert into thick line and thin line for that i'm going to use split tool select this select this line select this intersection so again select this at this intersection again select this at this intersection i am going to split now this is going to be a uh, different different line likewise here also uh, select this at this intersection i am going to split it select this at this intersection i am going to split this now whatever i have at the bottom that will be visible line so therefore i am supposed to make it into a thick line as you can see i have selected all these lines and this is clearly visible lines therefore and this will not be visible line okay this is just a cutting so make it into thick line so this is the visible portion so here one more is visible line so select this and make it into visible line right so these are the visible lines okay now i have to name this so here i'll be having one here if i start naming here here i'll be having one and uh, at, at this point i'll be having two and at this point i'll be having three uh, similarly here i'll be having four and here i'll be having five so same way here i have to name this one dash will be at this point and at this point i'll be having two dash inside bracket or i can also say it as two dash uh, space phi dash so phi is also at the same point and at this point i'll be having three dash space four dash so hope it is clear now we'll go for the development so this is just a orthographic and so far it is just a given data now i'm going to extend this line take a thin line uh, at the same parallel line method i'm going to extend a line over here now at the same height given so since the height is given as 60 as you can see i've taken a line now select this select this line so make it into thick line now select this now here i'm going to use a tool called pattern uh, offset select this select offset here this should be on uh, the distance it is asking already it is taking 30 and it should be chine so select this line press ok so it is asking which direction do you want one two three four so for the square i need only four so i'm going to uh, consider only four and you can just delete this you can just keep one of the value that is 30 at this point and rest of that you can also make it into thick line anyways most of that will be a visible line so make it into a thick line it is 0.5 thickness okay at the top also you can close from take a thick line uh, majority of that will be not visible still i can also use thick line and later i can convert that into thin line right so here also from the bottom from here to here from here to here from here to here and lastly from here to here so let us show the height of this this is supposed to be 60 and it will be 60 and you can also show the overall distance of this which is 120 now this is just a development portion i have to name this so here i'll start naming it as a this point will be b this point i'll be having c and here it is d and lastly i'll also have a back now since it is a parallel line method i'm going to project using a thin line i'm going to select a thin continuous lines okay so starting from one till here then i'm going to project that till a okay then starting from 2 2 to 2 and 5 will also be at this point now 3 to find the 3 i have to divide this already i have divided this i'll measure so from d it is at certain distance at the same time from b it is at certain distance so let us go for smart dimension and select this measure this it is 12.01 here also you can check it's supposed to be same if it is not same then something is wrong okay it's supposed to be same 12.01 12.01 on either side it's supposed to be same uh, first we'll see whether this angle is correct or not here this is supposed to be 60 degree i hope it is 60 degree okay it is 60 degree so here i got 12.01 now based on this go to arc so this 12.01 is from b so from b to c from here it is 12. 
0 1 okay draw the arc similarly from d also it is 12.01 again from d it is 12.01 so you cut an arc here you can use the split tool and you can divide all this go to split so select this line at the center section select this line at the center section select this line at the end point select this line at the end point select this at the end point select this and at this end point now uh, you can just delete these two because already have uh, the point there so no need of uh, uh, keeping that again so go to thick line start from one join to two and uh, three would be somewhere here and four will be here okay so from here you can just join till here then join here then join to this so bottom portion will be visible and remaining you can just make it into thin lines like uh, this line this line this line this line just select all this and you can just convert it into thin line it's just a magic see as simple as that so that completes your uh, problem you can just show the dimension here if you want okay whatever the dimension here that's supposed to be uh, reflected over there it's supposed to be same okay, obviously it will be